to another movie view today. This video is going to be a reaction video. I've been on the internet because I'm really bored during Lockdown Diaries, day 14. Yes, it's the 14th day of lockdown. But like I was saying, I'm on the internet looking at some videos and they're talking about how to assemble a PC from scratch, building your own PC. Well, I said that's nice and all if you know what you're doing and you have very specific requirements. But is it really worth it to pick all your components out, not knowing whether they would really fit or not fit? If you've not experienced in assembling computers, you could theoretically do a lot of damage to your Intel chip socket. You can do a lot of different things electrostatic discharge, things that just don't make it worthwhile. So I'm gonna go on the internet, I'm gonna to go to a Canada computer, it's a pretty popular computer spot for buying supplies to build your own computers. I'm gonna price that out as opposed to a pre-built package from them or Best Buy or Staples or anywhere really folks. So let's go have a look and let's see how much this costs and how much pain or pleasure you might get from it. Let's have a look. So the first thing you're gonna need when you're bu building a computer is some sort of processor. There's gonna be AMD and there's definitely gonna be Intel. What are you gonna pick, guys? I like the i7 10th generation. It is the latest generation for gaming processors. It's not the fastest, but it's also not ridiculously expensive as opposed to the i9. Yes, I know there, there are people out there who love AMD Ryzen's R7s, R9s, and you can save a lot of money, but sticking with Intel. At this point, you also need a motherboard. Hopefully one that works together with it. So I've picked this bundle out that they give you a motherboard and a CPU. By the way, this is already $700 into your computer build, and you're not even halfway done. After that, we're gonna definitely need some sort of video card. And here are the choices. You're gonna buy an AMD processor for video or you're gonna buy a NVIDIA graphics card. My choice, if you're not a Mac user, obviously you're gonna be using an NVIDIA video card. NVIDIA for me is just really simple. It works well, lots of RAM, good performance out of it at a reasonable cost as well. May not be the fastest thing out there without spending $2,000, but I wanna buy the cheapest one I can find. I would have said to you a 2060, 2070 Super, any of those brands would work well. The drawback is uh, a lot of these video cards right now are sold out. And I'm talking about sold out across any chain you can find. There might be an odd one or two lying around, but everything is sold out. That being said, if I go back to the original 2000 series, their prices are probably higher than the 3000. Since they're sold out, I'm just gonna go jump onto Best Buy, see what they have in stock for us. 549, that's a good, oh, sold out. Coming soon, coming soon. Coming soon. So there is a shortage, guys. There is a absolute shortage of video cards. Um, I might have to buy it on Amazon. I might have to pay extra money for it if I want the card that I want. But we're talking about at least five, six hundred dollars just for a video card. So keep that in mind. Um, let's continue on our build without a video card. After that, RAM, memory. I need to run programs, I need RAM. Most people need 16 gigs, the max, to be honest there, just for playing games. So I'm gonna add 16 gigs of RAM out of it. Uh, next, we're gonna need a hard drive. And today's hard drive choice is solid state. I think nobody's gonna argue with that. Solid state is the fastest drive out there. I've selected the M.2, one terabyte because one, it's on sale, and two, it frees up a lot of space in the actual chassis to add on more storage should you need it. 
Maybe you're going to go to video editing or photo editing. You're going to add more RAM and memory. So I've added that to the cart and let's go on to the next component. And the next component really is simple. We need some sort of case. Where are we going to put all the components into a case? That's where you're going to put it. Uh, there are so many cases from 60 bucks onwards. I'm going to be modest. I picked the Corsair. It's got see-through. It's got fan space so I can use exit fans to cool my computer. Talk about that in a second. And uh, lots of bays for things. And this is only $70, so that's a good value for the money. So I've added that to my cart. The next thing we're going to need is to somehow cool all that hardware in there. Oh, actually, first thing in that is I need a power supply to run everything first. Again, I picked up roughly around that 650 watt power supply. It happens to be on sale as well. It's a gigabyte version. There are other ones that have less ratings, but I don't want to be running out of power when I'm running that high end video. Uh, again, to cool my computer, I need chassis fans, case fans, nothing fancy. I'll pick a 120 millimeter fan, pretty standard size. That's a six inch fan, I think. Actually, I think it's only a four inch fan, pardon me. So beyond that, I also need some bling. So I'm going to add uh, some RGB fans just in case. Again, there's at least two fans in here to cool it. Beyond that, everybody knows I need some sort of gaming keyboard. The one I've picked is an ASUS. It has an MX Blue. And that MX Blue is cool because it's got a mechanical keyboard and it does have a quite a large clicky sound, as you can listen to. So I've added that. It's only $110. It's half the cost of some super high-end gaming, but it should do very well. On top of that, need a mouse, some sort of wired mouse. You have so many options. I've done a couple of different reviews. Let's just go with the Logitech G600. It's a good standard mouse for gameplay. No batteries to worry about. And now I need an operating system. Yes, Microsoft Windows 10 does cost money. And that's 150 bucks. You need to add software to it. When you go to the cart, this is already $1,460 almost. And I'm also needing roughly about $600 worth of video card. So that's $2,000. So I've got my motherboard, my RAM, my CPU, my solid state hard drive, my case. I have my power supply, I've got fans, I've got some thermal grease, I don't know if it comes with any, but I've just bought some just in case, some more RGB to make it look cool, and then the mouse and the keyboard plus Windows. All that is $1,460, plus I need a video card because I didn't add it, and we're at least $2,000 plus tax on top of that, brings it up to roughly about 2300 bucks. Oh, wow. And I may have lost a few options. I may need to add things like cables or connectors that I'm not, I'm not sure if I need them, but if I don't, if I do need them, I'm gonna have add that as additional cost. But beyond that, what does a pre-built machine look like? 1629 bucks. That looks pretty good. 1899. That looks pretty good. I mean, look at this one. This has got 8 gigs of RAM on the 2060 Super. It has ray tracing, just previous gen. It's about the same performance. And it's already built in. Guys, you can conclude what you want. It just seems so much easier to buy something that is already pre built. Especially when it's on sale, you do save a lot of money and you have the assured guarantee from the vendor that sold it to you, HP, Asus, Acer, uh, Alienware, <laughs> sorry, Alienware, 
Dell. Um, I'm not hating on Dell. I'm just saying, you know, it's Dell. Beyond that, guys, you can save a lot of money. No, you can't. It seems to be about the same cost. But if you need to upgrade an older PC, that's the way I would go. But as somebody looking for a new computer, I might just look for something on sale from the big box store. Well, folks, that's the end of the video. I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notifications on so you can know when we put up the next video and share the video. Let people know how much time and effort I put into these videos for you guys and comment below. Until then, until tomorrow, we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.